بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد عدنان ورکنگ ایز اسسٹن پروفیسر ان دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف فزکس کوہارٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی آئی ویلکم یو ٹو دی کورس پی ایچ وائی فور ایٹ ون پلازما فزکس اٹ از دی ففٹینتھ لیکچر آف دس کورس اینڈ ان دس لیکچر ویل سی دی کمبائن ایفیکٹ آف کرویچر اینڈ گریٹ بی ڈرفٹ First, I will give the learning objective. At the end of this lecture, the student will understand the motion of charged particle in an inhomogeneous magnetic field. In this course, we are following introductory introduction to plasma physics and control fusion book by FF Chen, third edition. In this lecture, I have taken some of the illustrations from this book. In my previous lecture, uh, we have discussed the grade B drift that arises once we, we are having a magnetic field such that as one moves around uh, the y-axis, uh, there is, exists a gradient in the uh, magnetic uh, field uh, uh, value. That is, When the charge particle gyrate around the magnetic field lines and as it moves up during that gyration, so it will experience a stronger magnetic field due to uh, that profile which is uh, created such that there exists uh, a gradient in the, uh, uh, in the magnetic field uh, intensity. And there we concluded that due to that uh, force which, which, is, uh, which, which the charge particle experience per gyration as it moves uh, so that uh, due to uh, that force a drift arises on the guiding center uh, once uh, a magnetic field of such profile is there. So that uh, a great, uh, that a guiding center drift depends upon the, the rate of change of the magnetic field and also uh, uh, various parameters. We have discussed these things. And we concluded that uh, positive charge particle drift in the uh, minus x direction and negative charge particle drift in the positive x direction depending upon, uh, 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 based on uh, this situation. And the grade B drift is in opposite uh, direction for the electron and ions uh, uh, and as a result there uh, exists uh, a transverse current. We have uh, discussed uh, the situation in the uh, previous lecture and we concluded that uh, uh, the local gyro radius is large where magnetic field is small and uh, the gyro radius is small where magnetic field is large and uh, due to uh, that we, we, the charged particle experiencing a guiding center drift due to uh, the gradient in the, the magnetic uh, field value. So also we have discussed uh, previously the curvature drift. That is when the charged particle is moving along uh, around the magnetic field which is curved uh, uh, in geometry so it will experience the centrifugal force which is outward. That is when charged particle moves along curved magnetic field lines experiencing centrifugal force perpendicular to the magnetic field lines. So in my last lecture, we have discussed the grade B drift and previously we have discussed such situation that once the field line is curved, that is the magnetic field line is curved. So when the charged particle is uh, performing that uh, gyro motion, so it will experience a centrifugal force. And that outward force is M v square over r uh, generally in this situation that the parallel velocity contributes to this force. Now <clears throat> one can directly uh, use this uh, force which uh, the charged particle experiencing once it is moving along the field lines so that the general expression for the guiding center drift is 1 over q f cross b that is uh, whatever force is there that can be gravity 
that can be grade B drift that we have discussed that could be the electric force or that can be the centrifugal force because of the curveness in the magnetic field lines. So if we use this F uh, over here so that the drift is into or out to the page depending upon the polarity of the charge so that uh, it acquires uh, uh, this uh, mathematical form where RC is the uh, uh, radius or you can say the curvature in the field line. And on my last slide, I, I also uh, uh, summarize the previous lecture where we have discussed the grade B drift. So we have these two drift arises once uh, 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 we are having uh, curvatures in the field lines and uh, this grade B is once there is a uh, gradient in the strength of the magnetic field. So, uh, practically speaking, these two drifts arise at the same time since uh, it is not possible to have a curveness in the magnetic field and the field lines is uniform. So, in here we have, uh, we need to combine the two uh, things that is the grade B drift and the curvature drift. So, we have a, 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 a curved magnetic field and as I told you it is difficult to have constant magnitude. Hence, for a curved magnetic field both curvature and grade B drift arises together. So, the field profile is such that it is uh, in the cylindrical uh, coordinate for example this B is along theta and the field strength varies as R. As uh, one moves uh, 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 in this radial direction, the, the, the strength of the magnetic field uh, decreases. The density of the field lines varies with R as I told you so that the field strength decreases with the increase in R. That is, as we are moving uh, away from uh, the center, so that the field strength will be decreasing and the field lines is curved and the charged particle is moving uh, around these magnetic field lines. So that that curve uh, del cross B has, a, has only a Z component since B has only a theta component. As I told you in the cylindrical uh, coordinate we are having three uh, coordinate parameter uh, R, theta and Z the R is the magnetic field direction. So, if we evaluate this del cross B, uh, which will be having a, a component uh, in the Z. So that, if we evaluate that thing, so that uh, in the cylindrical uh, coordinate, this R theta, so if this is zero, that means this uh, B theta R is constant, so that this the magnetic field profile varies as 1 over R as I told you. Now, the strength of the magnetic field is proportional to 1 over Rc. So that if we want to find out the, uh, the, the, the guiding center drift uh, due to the, the grade B in this scenario or we can say in this geometry so that we need to have this uh, del B so that uh, we need to uh, obtain such situation. That is the value of B is 1 over R so that uh, one can work out uh, to find out this since this is in the unit vector uh, RC unit vector so that one can obtain this thing. Now as I told you this is the general form of the grade B drift so in this uh, situation this del B over B can be obtained from this thing. So, if we use that thing uh, over here that is a plus minus V per bar L over B square and then B cross uh, B cross uh, then del B that del B can be used over here. So that using the, the definition of the cyclotron frequency that is omega C is Q B Q B over M so that one can have uh, 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 this expression. And uh, on the previous slide we have also uh, 
have the expression for the curvature drift. So now, if we use that uh, uh, formula for the guiding center drift uh, for any general force, so now we are having uh, two kinds of force. One is the force experienced uh, by the charged particle due to the gradient in the field lines uh, that is given by uh, this form, this form of, of this grade B drift. And also, there is another force that a charged particle will experience and that is due to the curveness in the magnetic field line so that we need to we need to uh, aid uh, these two in this uh, in this formula that is we need to write this uh, guiding center diff equal to 1 over q and then instead of f we need to have two forces one and then plus this and then we need to uh, take cross with the magnetic field so that uh, after the simplification, one can have uh, the combined effect of the uh, uh, curvature and grade B drift. And here, uh, if we see, uh, we are getting V parallel square and V perpendicular square. This is uh, uh, related with the curvature drift as it moves along the along the field line, so that uh, it will give rise to uh, the curvature drift and this V perp is significant uh, as the charged particle moves uh, around the magnetic field during that gyro motion. So as it moves in the radial direction so that it will experiencing uh, that grade B drift. As I told you it is unfortunate that the two drift adds uh, and this means that if we uh, if one bends a magnetic field into a torus for the purpose of uh, confining a thermonuclear plasma, uh, the result is that the particle will drift out of the torus no matter how one jiggles the temperature and the magnetic field. As it you, uh, more curvature means uh, more uh, drift. So that uh, if we want to uh, have a a useful form of uh, this uh, 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 this drift which is due to the curved B profile uh, that is the combined effect of the curvature and grade B drift that is if you want to replace this V parallel and V perpendicular through uh, this energy conversion that is half mv uh, we know that half mv square equal to the thermal energy that is 1 over 2 kT. Since the charged particle moves in the parallel direction, so it's having a 1 degrees of freedom, so instead of uh, F, the degrees of freedom 1 over 2 kT, and the perpendicular direction, it is having 2 degrees of freedom, so we are having 2 times 1 over 2 kT. So with this uh, handy conversion, one can replace the V parallel square and V perpendicular square to something measurable uh, uh, quantity, that is the temperature. So from here, one can convert uh, this V parallel square to kT over m and V perpendicular square to 2 kT over m. So that uh, we can have uh, this formula, uh, which is a drift in the y direction, or we can say the drift direction where this V thermal is the, uh, Vth is the thermal velocity of the charged particle, or we can say that the the, the the speed which is acquired due to that average translational kinetic energy. Now where this y unit vector is the direction of uh, r cross b over here, this means, this shows that this combined uh, drift on the guiding center depends upon uh, the charge of the species but not a, its mass. Now uh, uh, we need to go through uh, the following two problems. Uh, you need to submit this assignment. Uh, uh, this is taken from your course book, Introduction to Plasma Physics and Control Fusion by F.F. Chen. The first problem is problem 2.8. And uh, by just reading uh, this statement, you need to uh, be able to uh, 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 see the impact of this curvature and grade B drift uh, 
rather more physically that is for example this is related with the earth magnetic field having strength this and it varies as 1 over r cube and uh, with this much density and at this position you need to come uh, find out the grade b drift just using the, those formula but uh, you will be able to find out uh, the scales uh, or we can say the various environments that is uh, important to uh, work out. Also, uh, you need to uh, solve another problem that is related uh, with the electron in the magnetic field uh, with such profile and then you need to find out the values of uh, the E cross B drift, the, the grade B drift and also the curvature drift following these numbers. So after uh, finding out uh, these values, uh, you need to submit that assignment. And with this, I thank you for your